Hello viewers, welcome to all. In the previous lecture, that is in lecture 16, already I have started the income method of measuring national income. In this part, already I have discussed the domestic factor income that is the meaning of domestic factor income and their explanation. Now I will teach you today the components of domestic factor income which I have written on the green book. Components of domestic factor income. Components of domestic factor income. This domestic factor income, this domestic factor income is all as NDP factor cost, NDP factor cost according to the methods of measuring and national income, NDP factor cost. This NDP factor cost or domestic factor income basically divided into three categories. What are these three categories? Basically divided into three categories. Number one, compensation of employees. Compensation Compensation of employees. Number two, operating operating surplus. Operating surplus. And number three. Mixed income of self employed, mixed income of self employed. These are the three main parts of domestic factor income. Now I will explain one by one of this three part that is compensation of employees, operating surplus and mixed income of self-employed. This compensation of employees again divided into three categories again divided into three categories number one compensation in cash compensation in yes number two compensation in kind compensation in kind and number three employers 
implies contribution to social security implies contribution to social security skill these are the main sub component of compensation of employees so the sub component of compensation employees are compensation in gas compensation in kind and employees contribution to social security scheme basically this compensation in cash are divided by this compensation in cash are basically the only one part is there are basically divided only one part is there that is wages and salaries wages and salaries main part of compensation cash is wages and salaries these are the main part of compensation in cash within this wages and salaries so many sub component is there so many sub component is there like as basic pay da like as number 1 basic pay number 2 da da means dearness allowance dearness allowance dearness allowance number 3 Number three, number three. After then, after two, number three is H R A. H R A. House rent allowance. house rent allowance number 4 ota overtime allowance overtime allowance overtime allowance number 5 cca Number five, C C A, child care allowance, child care allowance. Number six, C E A. children children education allowance children education allowance number 7 bonus and commission bonus and commission number 8 ltc leave travel concession leave travel concession
leave travel concession leave travel concession and number 9 number 9 is seek leave allows s l a seek leave allows so all these are the part of wages and salaries so so the employers pay to their employees in the form of basic pay ba hra ota cca cea bonus and commission ltc and sl now basic pay means what basic pay means the standard rate of pay to their employees standard rate of pay to their employees the means the minimum pay structure will be there according to the pay structure the government or employers will be paid to their employees to their employees number 2 da da means dls allowance dls allowance means what dls allowance means due to increase in the price of the commodity or due to due to inflation due to inflation that means due to increase in the price of the commodity the employers pay to their employees a certain amount of allowance in two times in a year that means the government when the government will give up allowance due to increase in the price of the commodity that will be called as da da means dns allowance next ra hra house rent allowance house rent allowance means what house rent allowance is an allowance the house rent allowance is an allowance paid by the employers to their employees to their employees as a compensation of rent for residing their houses that means whenever the people will do some work for the government the government will give some hra to their employees number 4 is ota ota means overtime allowance overtime allowance means what overtime allowance means payment of extra working time that means whenever the people whenever the employees will do some extra work on the time the government will pay for this one for the extra time that is overtime allowance next i'll come to the 
CCA child care allowance child care allowance what women with disabilities women with disabilities shall be paid shall be paid rupees 3000 per month for a special allowance for a special allowance for their child care people women with disabilities shall be paid rupees 3000 per month 3000 per month as special allowance for their child care but this allowance is applicable from children's birth to maximum two years of the children's age this is the conditions of the cc next i'll come to the cea children education allowance children education allowance what the government pay 2250 per month to their employees for the education purpose of the children but if the children are staying in a hostel on that time government will be paid 6750 rupees this is the CEA bonus and commissions means whenever the government will earn some profits through their public sector undertaking on that time the government will pay some bonus or commissions to their employees LTC LTC means leave travel concession leave travel concession leave travel concession means what LTC allows the grant relief and ticket reimbursement ticket reimbursement to their employees LTC is what? LTC is LTC allows the grants of leave and ticket reimbursement to their employees that is LTC and sick leave allowance means what? whenever the employee are unable to do their duty on that time, the government will give some sick leave allowance, but subject to only 8 to 10 days for the whole year. This is the, all these are the components of wages and salaries. Next, I will come to the compensatory kind. Compensatory kind. Compensatory kind. Compensatory kind again divided into so many categories are there. Like as number one, house. Number one, free housing. Number one is free housing. Free housing. Free housing. That means the employers will give to their employee to stay to provide some houses for staying free housing. Number two, medical facilities. Medical, medical 
फैसिलिटीज नंबर थ्री फ्री फूड फ्री फूड नंबर फोर फ्री एजुकेशन फ्री एजुकेशन फ्री एजुकेशन नंबर फाइव कॉन्फ्रेंस फैसिलिटीज कॉन्फ्रेंस सी ओ एन बी वाई एन सी कॉन्फ्रेंस फैसिलिटीज कॉन्फ्रेंस फैसिलिटीज एसेट्रा कॉन्फ्रेंस फैसिलिटीज मीन्स बेसिकली दैट ट्रांसपोर्ट अलाउंस ओके वेन एवर द एम्प्लॉयज विल गो ऑन OD official duty on that time for transport the government will be paid the transport allowance that is for the convex allowance convex facilities these are the components of compensation in time and next i will come to the third point that is employees contribution to social security scheme Employees contribution to social security scheme. Basically, this employees contribution to social security scheme are divided into certain categories, like as number one pension, pension number one pension on retirement. On return, pension on return. Number two, PF. PF means the provident fund. PF means the provident fund. Life insurance. Number three, life insurance. Number three, life insurance. Gratuity. All these are the part of the employees contribution to social security scheme. So this is the main component of all these are the main component of compensation of employees. Next, I will come to the point operating surplus. Operating surplus.
नंबर थ्री रॉयल्टी आर ओ वाई ए एल टी वाई रॉयल्टी एंड इनकम फ्रॉम इंटरप्रेनरशिप आर डिवाइडेड इनटू ओनली वन कैटेगरी दैट इज प्रॉफिट ओके नाउ आई कम टू दिस पॉइंट आई आई विल एक्सप्लेन all these points one by one rent rent means what rent is a capital income generated from ownership of land and building rent is a capital income generated from land and building already in the previous class we have discussed this one interest in the same way interest is what income interest is a capital income generated from generated from a yeah, generated from generated from ownership of cap capital generated from ownership of capital that is interest and royalty is what Royalty refers to income generated for leasing rights or copyrights. So royalty is what royalty royalty refers to income generated for generated for leasing rights or copyrights. That means. whenever the people will use the government property for a certain period of time on that time the people will keep some royalty to the government okay these are the main three parts that is rent interest and royalty and profit the same way profit is what it is also a factor income generated for the ownership of generated generated for the generated for the uh, generated from entrepreneurs not for the uh, profit means profit is a factor income generated from entrepreneurship that is the profit this profit again divided into three categories this profit again divided into three categories that is this one profit number 1 corporate tax corporate corporate tax c o r p o r a t e corporate tax and dividends d i b i d e n d s dividends dividends and number 3 on distributed profit number 3 on distributed profit so profit is basically divided into three categories that is corporate tax dividends and non distributed profit now what is corporate tax corporate tax means the tax on profit paid to the government that is corporate tax that means whenever the corporate sector will earn some profits on the on the basis of the profits the government have to impose some tax to the companies or to the companies that is called big big size companies is called the corporate tax dividend dividends is not it is a part of profit it is a 
for the profit which is paid to the shareholders according to the ratio of shareholding it is a part of profit which is paid to the shareholders according to the ratio of shareholding this is the dividends it is also called as distributed profit this is also called as dividend is called as distributed profit and last one is undistributed profit the another name of this one undistributed profit is retained earnings or corporate selling retained earnings or corporate selling it is also a part of profit it is also a part of profit which is kept as reserve which is kept as reserve to meet the business expansion or unexpected contingencies unexpected contingencies that will be used the undistributed profit or corporate selling or retained earnings so this is the next i will come to the mixed income last point is mixed income mixed income means what mixed income income is generated from individual source that is called mixed income like as farmer's income shopkeeper's income barber's income carpenter's income okay etc so all these are the if you add all the components if you add the compensation of employees plus operating surplus plus mixed income then you will get this ndp factor cost or domestic factor income so one thing always you have to remember that whenever you have to solve the problem of national income accounting on that time very carefully you have to very carefully you have to observe that when the main component main component means yes so many some component main component should be given on that time the sub component will not be considered at all always you have to remember this point when the main component will be given side by side is also the sub component also is given on that time only you have to consider the main component not sub component sub component is not allowed for calculating the national income accounting very carefully you have to handle whenever you have to solve the problem of national income accounting so this is the overall concept of components of domestic factor income you have to prepare this chart and if you prepare this chart prepare this chart it will be easy for you to calculate the national income accounting okay thank you